Hey guys, this is Danny. Um, Baruse uh, on Discord asked how to kind of retune parts of a, a recording. Um, I'm using AUM here only to record my voice, but um, there's a technique uh, we can use to just tune parts of a sample. So here's the beginning of Sir Duke uh, by Stevie Wonder. And um, what I'm going to do is make it minor. So if I copy it over and go over here, so I get the first note. And then um, copy it over again. Now what, what I was describing on Discord is if you take the input and overlap it, it means that the output is actually... Um, is actually... Uh, not moved so if you then if i then put this on the end of that one it should sound the same as it originally did yeah so it's just a precise way of going over um the edge and then you can just keep doing that so so now i've got and on this one uh we want to pitch it but we don't want it to change so we want it to stretch now it's detected it as two beats what we want really is for it to to sound the same because it's not it's not this isn't synced to tempo at the moment so um it doesn't well i mean what you could do is change the tempo which i have to do in aum but you could do in koala uh, but if you don't want to change the tempo you can just change the number of beats. Now that's too fast. Uh, now if this is too slow, you can just just make the area bigger till it sounds the same as. So that's close enough. Now the fact that this chop doesn't quite fit is doesn't matter at this point. Now I want to bring this down a uh, semitone. Right, so now all we have to do is bounce this and get rid of that. And then we'll need to add this to the end of that and add this to the end of that. And now we've We've got so that's uh, that's probably the easiest way of doing it. Um, now, if you do want to change the tempo, uh, actually, the way I did it is probably the easiest way. But, but if you Yeah, so you just like kind of that should sound about right. So now you can just um, change that and bounce it. So uh, <clears throat> that's about it.